So, good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, today I'll be doing something quite uncommon for my channel. Normally I stream in German and I stream digital games. Playing digital games. Let's play, so to say. Uh, today I want to just um, uh, try learning Xscape and getting used to it by... Uh, redesigning a game I bought recently, which is called L'Empereur, sorry, and it's designed by Albert Walton and published back in 1992 by Tabletop Games. I bought it together with a another board game, so it's uh, obviously a used one, and I am aware that there is a newer version of this rule set uh, that comes with a a color map um, other than this one from 1992 which is black on white but I just thought why not trying to to take the opportunity to use this opportunity and uh, learn some Inkscape and re redesigning it at least graphically um, for personal uh, purpose only, obviously. Uh, so yeah, maybe if you're interested in uh, in graphic design in Inkscape, uh, maybe we can learn this together. Um, but please do not expect too much as I'm not overly prepared. We want to get a new file. This is wrong. I need to change the document settings first. And whoops, they open on the other screen. And this layout for this game, which is, by the way, a board game that can be used as a campaign system um, to, um, to, how to say it, to, yeah, it's a campaign system for tabletop wargaming. So when your, when your armies on this map, on the Hex Encounter map, the board game as such, meet and engage and you have a battle you could then calculate based on the rule set uh, using uh, unit points uh, you could calculate the troops you would use on a tabletop war game uh, and yeah play out the battle in this tabletop war gaming and then come back to the board game l'empereur and apply the results and then continue playing like it's starting in 1805 typical starting year for napoleonic uh, games right and uh, thank you general Schl general schlag mich kaputt thanks a lot for your uh, follow on youtube i guess so and uh, so uh, going from 1805 to 1815 which is the the obvious uh time span for napoleonic games although i and maybe it's just me i prefer games that start in uh, 1792 at the beginning of the revolutionary wars or the coalitionary wars how they are also called so we are or i am and maybe you you have some idea how inkscape works and you can help me via the chat or in the comments later on i'm trying to do a graphical redesign of this neat looking game i acquired some days ago and we start with an a3 paper format in this direction yes that's good. Uh, shall we use something like this? And sorry that uh, the program here, Inkscape, is in German. Can I quickly change that somewhere? Is the question. I can. Maybe somewhere here. 
Mm, new ones? Questions? No. This is only regar in regard of the this document here. Hmm. Seems not to be the case. Okay, so sorry for that. And um, now let's zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, and my my average play uh, views are are dropping the stream already. <laughs> I can see it uh, because they are not used to to this content here and me doing streams in English. But that's no problem. Uh, I have downloaded and installed some expansions that allow me to automatically create counter sheets and hex maps. And today we are starting with the hex map and we'll see how, f how far uh, we, we're going to make it today and how long I, I'll be online. But that's the point to start. And later on, um, we also have to make some new counters because... As you can probably see here, if you can see it, these are the counters that came with the game from 1992, and they are simply red printed on white paper. So it's not even cardstock, it's just paper with the flag shapes of the, um, the various nations and some numbers on them and some letters from time to time. and. As there is stacking in this game, you can stack up to five counters max in clear terrain on an on an A3 map with those uh, hexes here. That must be a fiddly mess. So we will do this later on. But now let's start with the hex map. Um, yeah. Now to the scale, I need to check first how many hexes do we need, how many rows and so on. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, up. So that's uh, 19 rows, I believe. Or, hmm, maybe let's add something. I'm thinking about kind of um, uh, make it a game. It starts in 1792, as I said, that's, yeah, why not, right? And then, if so, we would need Egypt to be part of this game because of the, the expedition uh, Napoleon did to Egypt. But Egypt is missing on this uh, map here, as you can probably see, would be right there. Uh, there, down here, and Syria and and Gaza and so on. So we need to add a few rows. Then how many though? I mean, one would just be enough, right? Maybe let's do two. Let's go with. Uh, how to say? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, let's go with twenty then. And uh, Dr. Toad has joined in English. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm a stupid German schnitzel. Um, because my board wargaming content is uh, featured on uh, an Canadian wargaming news show and so maybe from time to time I, I'm planning just to, to do a few videos 
in English just because of that. So, um, 20. Now, how many of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, uh, 20, 21, 22, I believe. Or did I just miscalculate now? Should be Moscow should be in now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, 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 eight. So day twenty one twenty two, yeah, around. And uh, oh wait, I haven't set the one inch is probably too big, right? Yeah. One inch is too much. Hmm. Now the question is, how do I change that? Let's have a look. One, two, this is 22. It's just like here, 13. That's not working. Uh, probably 1.75 maybe. And now uh, must be positive. Yeah, it's positive. Maybe with, with a dot. Well, question is, it's just overwriting. No, does not appear. Hmm. So if you have any idea how Inkscape works, please help me here. Again, 22 by 20 and then, hmm. Create. Please wait. Please hold the line. Now that looks wrong. 22. Doesn't even fit here. Hmm. Half hexes. Do we need half hexes? Yeah, but only hmm. Only down here, not up there. First column, half hex down. Now that's how we start here, right? Let's try this. And uh, turn it. What does that mean? Square bricks? No. Hmm. Can we get a preview here? No. Remove that one and try it again. Counter hex. No, 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 counter sheet, counter sheet, hex map. Here we go. So 24, 20, 0.75 inches. And let's try turning. I have no idea what this option does. <laughs> All right, uh, but we have to change this here. 20 to 24. Uh, 
Uh, works similar to any other vector-based drawing program. Yeah, probably. It's still not... Why is it doing it like this? Huh. If we can... 2024 20, 20. no it's the other way around twenty four right that looks about right but so it's one and then running down to twenty here but why is it continuing twenty one twenty two I have no clue and it's still too big I believe so how did they fit this one here let's do some magic uh, no that's too small go crazy here Twenty. So now we are nearly there. The question is, can I just take this and... Can I adjust it manually? I have no idea, but it should be the case. Yeah, right. It's it's like uh, generating it, yeah, processing the changes and then take some time for it to do so. Nineteen twenty. But I'm still wondering uh, about the layout because. Hmm. Let's remove half hexes. Shift grip to side. What does this do? Okay. Ah, now turning them. Yeah, okay, that's how we need to, how we need, but <laughs> why is there an empty row now on the top? Is it because of the first column half X down? Probably not. No. Arrgh. Uh, do I have a four paper sheet here? I believe that, that should be a four, right? Ah, I see it's not quite a three in total. Ah, now I get it. Just thought the map is a three, but not quite. Not quite so. And what's this about Briggs? I believe. Oh, yeah. Doing what it says. And then let's go with letters and numbers as they have it here and do they have the point nope and they simply 
Yeah, come on, processing, processing. First column number is zero. This is it's like weirdly numbered on this map here because K1, which is the um, this um, C hex here in front of La Coruña, um, west of Spain, is numbered K1. And then a few rows further below, H1 is starting in the other column. one I too yeah okay but makes sense makes sense but still does not fit here because of shift grid uh, what do you refer to dr. toad there are some groups Center dots, we don't need center dots here. What's this one? Probably just the uh, the meeting points. Yeah, no. Uh, maybe. Maybe we change it later to that one. But that's a pain, why? I mean, I could simply change the layout, right? And um, let's try this um, real quick. Go here, like so. And try it again with the hex map. Preview, please. On the start tab, there's shift grid activated. That may be why you have a row without coordinates. On the style tab, shift grid. Let's see what it changes. Now there's one and a half. And now it's one. Still one empty row. But we are getting closer to fitting it on the paper actually. So let's go with, I don't know, playing around. We also need some, some space for other movement boxes and the month turn track and year turn track and all of those things. In the courts. Tab start the row with one instead of zero. First column number. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Great. Okay. But it's still too too big. I mean, on this one, they have like the alignment table that could fit here, maybe. Then we have the year track, could put it here and side by side with the monthly turn track. But there is a movement box between Sweden and Finland 
which would be like uh, somewhere here, maybe. I can't zoom in while I still have uh, this window open here, creating the hex map. Rigolem, hi. Uh, hmm. I'm still not happy with it, though. What if we go with 0.6? Probably way too small then. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. And we need to remember, I need to write it down somewhere because of the counters I need to generate as well later on. So I need to remember the hex size. It looks so, it does look so small. No, when we have this corrected, let's go like this and maybe change the layout again. Yeah. Uh, settings, change it around, zoom in a bit so we can see things and then come back to X map. Process it. Yeah. Looks better now. Well, the other thing is, and I don't understand why they are doing that actually, the um, first row they have in the game, which is like the, the uh, Mediterranean Sea, um, at the Egyptian coast or something. Uh, it starts with E and then they go up F, G and so on. So that Stockholm is in row V. That's hilarious. Okay. But that should fit now. Can we somehow realign these mm, coordinates? Fighter wings, hi. Yeah, exactly, Dr. Toad. I'm doing that. I'm trying to redesign L'Empereur, this one here, which is a board game and can also be used as a campaign game for tabletop war gaming. And this one has been published in 1992. So it's all black and white and I want to give it some color and probably some, some nicer looking design, but I'm a total Inkscape noob, so I'm just rambling around doing some try and error. Just count up uh, as you need them, yeah. Sure. It's like I'm not sure whether I can simply come back to this uh, point and change and change it. And can I somewhere define how big they should be? Probably in the layers later on. So let's just go with this one and check here 
Right, we have it. Uh, question is, can we get this somehow bigger? No, can't. Okay, this is uh, the filament. Yeah, the grid, the coordinates. Okay, we can change that here. So let's take the whole group and select it. And then hopefully I can simply like drag it around. Can I? I can. Okay, looking good, looking good. Looking good. And on here it's some somewhat like this. Deselect it. Right. So now they start simply with A, but who cares? Who cares? Who cares? So now I said I wanted to have the this row here to be like Northern Egypt and Gaza would be somewhere here maybe. Now we need to get one point to start with and then I will simply use the, um, uh, the hex fill and put some colors in just to get the, the shapes right in the beginning. And then I can can come back to that later with some graphic layers. So we should probably duplicate this. Duplicate. Right. And then how to fill them. Can I simply, as long as I'm in here, I can simply collect or select them and then uh, yeah, right. That should be the right function to simply fill them with some color. <laughs> Never give up, Dr. Toad. Uh, oh. So now I need to count so it's like one two three four five five and a half yeah hmm. let's see one two three four five and uh, which er? Oh, did I put in some contours here? No, I don't want to do that. I want to fill it. So one, two, three, four, five. And probably I have no color selected here. Yeah, okay, that's how it, yeah, 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 yeah. So that is sort of, Egypt. So let's go on like this. Uh, no, 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 no. Now the problem is because I have another like um, coordinate grid here, I cannot simply go on my map and uh, say, oh yeah, like hex E15 should be Mediterranean Sea or something. I have to visually count that don't scale it you will lose your size value don't scale it i'm not scaling it i hope so or shall we start up here maybe that's that's a better approach to start with Moscow. Let's go with, I don't know, green. 
Nope, not down there, but doesn't matter now. And so it's one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So the map should look like this. One, two, three. And here should be Moscow then. And then like this, this, this. Then uh, some sort of blue. And some sort of green again. This one. Okay, then we have Finland there. And like this, like this, like this. Yeah, obviously there are also the marshes and 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 like lakes and rivers and so on, but that's for a later point. Um, here it's like Estonia. Just doing the the shoreline right now. We have Riga here. Go down here and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Should be Denmark and Copenhagen. Malmö, Schütteboro. Then like Stockholm over here. Yeah. And then we need another color for some mountains. Oslo. So that's Norway up there. Right. And we continue with some. Oh, that's like really dark. The Baltic Sea. Just to get the shape. The shapes right. Uh, we have already done this and then over here. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And then three, and then we have Scotland over there. And then it's four, and then it's three, three, one. And then we should have the channel kind of here in between now that's Lille then yeah right that way to there these two this one huh Yeah, should be right. Should be right. So this is the Irish Sea around here. And then go one. Yeah, just connect it there. All right. Looks like the British Islands, right? <laughs> uh, that's... L'Empereur is like the emperor, so it's uh, Napoleonic Wars, 1805 to 1815. Um, but I think I will just expand it and let it start in uh, 1792. Yeah. Would have to make some adjustments to the army tables and stuff then, but why not? So we have three, and then we have four, and then we have five. That's like a hilarious shape. You will see that in a second of France here. And then we're here. Did I just miscalculate it? Or what did I? Did I? By the looks of things, I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, most likely I miscalculated it. Okay. Where the Wargaming launcher is open. At my taskbar, there is no Wargaming launcher. Uh, do you mean this one here? It's the Eye of the Dragon. <laughs> it's the Eye of the Dragon. It's not the Wargaming launcher. Like this. And then we have Straits of Gibraltar. Uh, like this. And then like this. And come up here. Gibraltar should be there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then Tunisia. Uh, Sicily's like there. Yeah, by the looks of things, I totally miscalculated. But that's that's quite helpful. So we can. I will just continue with the outlines of the Mediterranean then and then we can start over and um, do the correct grid. Why not? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. And then the map goes like this. Four. And then we have uh, the Hellespont here. Then the Black Sea, like this, with the Crimea. Okay, so mm, we would have the North Egyptian coastline like here. The question is, how much of Egypt do we need? I mean Cairo and the, the pyramids, of course, but that's probably just one one hex. It looked like the wargaming logo, yes. Ah, yeah, have fun with Titan Tales. Uh, premiere of Through the Darkest of Times. I will watch the video later. And thanks for tuning in. See you guys. Have a nice evening. So, um, let's zoom in. It's like, the grid is not the best. Why Why I hear these, these white borders? Because I simply... Huh... Do I have to select every one and then fill it? No, that's not the way. How do I do this then? How do I do this? Filling and then I have to go here. I see. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> A lot of sense. <laughs> okay. So we already learned a few things just from uh, starting and playing around with this one. Uh, so we need to make this again. A new one of it. And now we can simply rely on this grid here. But yeah, I'm still not sure how many hexes of Egypt I would need. And of Syria, of course, that's the same. It's cut off here in this game. Hmm. It's like Syria would only be well, maybe these two. Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe rain, maybe snow. Mm. 
Interesting. So let's do a new one and the other one is still open. Now we can go back and forth, forth and check um, what we did wrong and did right. So we need it like this, please. And then we want to wrap, zoom in, zoom in but not that much. So can I zoom in like this? Probably using control or something. Maybe. And now uh, we will just count here. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 22, let's write it down, it's like 22, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, well, <laughs> Should not be scrolling around here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-two. Okay, it's twenty-two by twenty-two, and uh, this one was twenty-two by twenty-four, I believe. Uh, so let's go here. Bot games, hex map, and then we will have twenty-two by twenty-two. Come on, can we get a preview, please? Yeah. Alrighty then, okay. So, as we have this one. Okay, mm. no, that makes no sense. Forget it, and yeah, what about the scale though? Hmm. Let's take a look at this one. Ah, uh, okay, I need to... Um, I need to decide, so let's do this and then change to that one, otherwise I cannot switch around. If I take it and drag it down here like this, maybe even a little bit closer like this. Now, is there enough space to put a movement box here? Yeah, I believe so. Should be. And then have the tables and tracks over here. Yeah, there's, there's pretty much enough space over there. And one thing I need to write down before continuing is this was 0.63 inches. All right. Okay. So then... We have already learned that uh, how to <laughs> do this kind of clicking thing correctly. So one, two, three, it's the fourth. One, two, three, four. This one, so we want to fill it. And I believe probably there is a quicker way doing that, but I don't know it. And if you know it, please let me know. Dr. Toad, thank you for tuning in and have a nice evening. So that way we would have whoop, Moscow in here. Again, it's Moscow again. The fate of the emperor. And then we go like from Moscow is here. 
we go one, two, three. No, <laughs> it was <laughs> was wrong already, right? Yeah, should have started here. So, and then can I? Yeah, I can. Can I? I can. So this one is Moscow. One, two, three. Give it some filling and then we have, um, what do we have there? Uh, it's just the, the Botnik uh, things. How is it called? No, it's, it's like, it's like Ladoga. Maybe, probably, probably not. I have no idea. Need to check a map for that. So, and then there are hexes with, um, with lakes. But no, we don't want to care about those right now. We come back to this later on. So continue filling the Baltic Sea. And remember, this is just for uh, just a sketch, so we know how or where to where to start here. And now I, I is this right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's not right. What did I? miss here huh one two three four then we have the ah this should be st petersburg that's the error so like this and then four and then we have sweden over here like oh, come on need to zoom in and a little bit more to hit the hexes like this and Sweden goes one two three four hexes so let's do that four hexes with with Malmö down here and as soon as we have kind of finished this basic shape we will continue doing some outlines, hex outlines, uh, in order to get borders and stuff. And I'm doing now mountains in brown. So we have those. Go like that. Right. Then this one is Copenhagen. And Sjelland. And this is Jutland. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Then we have three more hexes of Baltic Sea. like a little bit redundant like clicking here clicking there clicking here clicking there and I said three and did four why did I why did I no should be like this yeah looks correct oh I remember it's just like so we can use it as a a rough base to continue then drawing uh, sort of more realistic shorelines and stuff. So this one is Riga, right? Alrighty, boys. Continue. And could I, instead of continuing, clicking and clicking and clicking, could I simply select 
Ah, <laughs> that makes it way easier, right? One, two, three, four. So that way I can select all the the C axes, which go four in this direction, and then three, and then five, three, four, five. Yeah, that's way easier. Two here, two here. Then we have Ireland. Let's go around Ireland. And one, two, three, four, five. So here's the here's the channel here. Or let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, so that one is Hamburg. From Denmark we have three. Then we have three again. And then we have simply one. And now I believe I made a mistake it's somewhere. But where? Mm, uh, let's fill it and have a look. So it's two. One, two, three. And four and three. That's right. No, it's right. Okay. Just looked wrong. Right, that's Amsterdam there. Netherlands and then we have Lille over here and Calais and stuff. All right. Then all the way here. It's most likely everything is. Uh, it's not clear terrain. There's also marshes and and rivers, but it's for. point in the future always oh, by accident I selected a border of a hex I want to avoid that so like this and what about Britain I have Have it like this one, yeah. Okay. And then these are all green. And it must be like really boring watching it, but there is still still one viewer at least at Twitch. <laughs> I hope you enjoy watching me clicking around and painting hexes. Um, from here, from Lille, France goes one, two, three, and then diagonally one, two, three, four, five, three, four, and five, and let's do this real quick. get the outlines here so it's three and two and one and one and one and two and three and then many many more so um Next, we have Bordeaux here, so did I make a mistake here? Probably one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh huh, and then. 
this hex should be the Bay of Biscay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that's wrong, huh? What did I wrong? Where is the fault? Maybe it's just my mind. Probably. So, Brittany and Brest. One, two, three, four. So these two are the Pyrenees. Okay. Then we have three again. Mountains all over. And maybe that's another brown, but who cares? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five to La Coruña. So then it's still one road to. Huh? One row too much? Hmm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Obviously. No idea where I miscalculated here, but okay. So then Porto five to Barcelona, that's right, and then we have Valencia, Madrid, and again Portugal, Lisbon. Oh, there's a clear hex in between, and then it goes down here, like so, and one clear hex. Uh, which is green. Great. Great green hexes. And some islands. Sicily and Italy. Going up here. To Florence. And then the Alps, the French Alps here, and the central uh, central mountains there in France, and from here to Switzerland and Bavaria and over to Austria and this one should be like uh, on here it's Venice but no on here it's Innsbruck but should be Venice Venice is in another hex here but let's just fill them so I don't get even more confused yeah this is clear this is clear then we have those Lyon lying here, Tour over to Strasbourg. Whoop. Like so. Switzerland is here. Then then we have what's Frankfurt? In the Confederation of the Rhine. Magdeburg, Saxony, and then Dresden is already mountainous terrain. Oh, that's interesting. But anyways.
did I finish this one? Let's go two, and then it's three. Yeah, like so, and then uh, three here, four and five, and then around the Iberian Peninsula, like so. Five, like so. What the hell? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. Like this one's so. And then we have the North African coastline like this. And I'm not sure which color should it get. On here it's like simple black because you cannot enter these areas let's do this for starters at least ah here we have malta of course it goes around it's like so Remember, I added additional rows down here to bring in Egypt. It's still still one one row too too much. I don't get it. Why is this happening? I have no idea. Doesn't matter really. And how many hexes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the map ends. So one, two, three, four, five, six, sevens. At least this one ends. And like this, four hexes. Up here, the HGNC. And they have Crete in here. Three hexes to Malta, indeed, two, and then the Adriatic. One, two, three, four, like this. Before we lose the overview, let's do it like this and just adjust. That color. Okay, then we have Greece, which is controlled by the Ottomans, of course, but which cannot be entered in this game. So here is awareness. Then we have another mountainous terrain down here. And then we go Venice and one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, just to get it right. And then mountain, mountain in Lvov or around Lvov. And then it's like one, two, three. So Lvov. One, it's Krakow here, here, mountains here, here, to Dresden, Germany. Oh, and I missed to hit Budapest. And we have Vienna in here, yeah. Okay. Nearly done, <laughs> and I got the wrong green. 
No way. We cannot let that happen. Good. So remember, there are here some uh, the Pripyat marshes are here. We also we have some marshes up there, but I'm not not so sure which color I should use right now to to fill it. No idea. And we also need to consider what to do with Egypt. So uh, we had. Dwarf here, and then it continues like so. Oh, not like so, like so. Crimean Peninsula here, and then goes one, two. Oh, come on! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six to Moscow. One, two, three, four, five, six to Moscow. Huzzah! This is correct. But this one is too much. So these should be green and this one should be empty. Uh -huh. like one, two, one, two, three. And this one should be empty as well. And then it looks about right. Then we can add the Black Sea. Mm -hmm. Like so. Okay, and then they have like Turkey over here, which is again black because Napoleon did not invade it. One, two, three, like four hexes black. And then it goes down here, but now we have to think about Egypt and Syria, which I want to add to this game. They have these, oh, these two in black as well. And then they have two over here. This one and this one. Ah, that's the, the current Nika, right? Yeah. Most likely. So these two would be would be C hexes as well. Okay, let's consider that. And the stream is running for over an hour and I have just managed to do a rough sketch of the original map and nothing else. Hilarious. But I, I just stated in the description of the stream as well, on, on Twitch as well as on YouTube, that you probably don't want to watch this. <laughs> so, these are blacked out again. You may not enter. And... One, two, three. One, two, three. These are blacked out, but. Hmm. Maybe we should take another map. 
like a, a geographical map and put it on top for dimensions, maybe. Hmm. Let me take my browser. And let's get a map of Europe. And the Mediterranean, actually. So, Mediterranean. Do, 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 do. What about this one? Oh, it has no, no cities, no cities. Yeah, that's right. No cities on that. That one here. What about this one? Come on, open it full size, please. Yeah, that one has some. So, if this is Cyprus, and this is Turkey, Ah, I should have. Mm, okay. I get it. So, uh, this is... This is Crete or Cyprus? This is Crete on here. But what about Cyprus then? Crete. We need Cyprus as well. Somewhat important for the British. So these two hexes. Is this Benghazi or what? I mean, I know I need to drastically abstract everything here. But by the looks of things, we should have. Another C hex here, like this. And then add, whoops, whoops, no, 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 not like this, like this. Go like this. Then we have Libya. And the Kyrenaika here. And then comes Egypt. Let's do it like so and give it a yellowish color. Then we would have Suez here, but obviously without the canal. <laughs> and the Nile should be in here, running down like so between those, between those two. And this would be Sinai. And then we have the Red Sea here, which doesn't matter. So this one would be a another sea hex. 
right? And when this is created, this one should be a C hex as well. It's blacked out here on my on the on the actual game map. But that way we would have Turkey like this, and we don't need to fill all of that. Like so. And then we would have Syria and And do we need even more? Don't think so. That way and this one. That's like Sinai and then the Red Sea here, which does not matter for our purposes. So we have Alexandria, we have Cairo, and that should be enough, right? Or should we add another one? No, don't think so. And then Napoleon would try to get to Syria and get like battered by the Ottomans rushing in and by the uh, the Mamluks and so on and yeah. But that's the basic outlay then with some additions we made here. Now, my question is, did they, hmm, if we bring in the Ottomans as a playable nation, which I'm not sure about whether it is in the game rules or not. Let's check that real quick. Where is the army list? So here we have the maximum forces. And because they did not fight with the French, I believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure, they, they only were at war with Russia back then. Russia. Mazarasha. Okay. Yeah, but let's let's add them in. I mean, why not? Seems legit to me. Then the question is, if we add those guys in, we need to decide on terrain. And as far as I know, would be rather fitting to do nearly all of this mountainous. Maybe not here. Uh, let's have a look like mountains here and Peloponnese yeah should be mountains 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 so Albania sort of nowadays and then <laughs> to say probably mountains and then do we have mountains here or not or shall we put some here yeah let's put some there like so right and then do these uh clear whoops clear terrain and I'm just checking another games map which has the Ottomans as a player and which is Napoleon against Europe 
and it has mountains like so, but no mountains here, but okay, we have obviously the Carpathian Mountains and the coastline running. Let's put this over here. So this is the bow. This is the bow. So this one should be mountainous, but it's free. It's clear terrain on the board's map. Hmm. What would you guys say? Mountains here or mountains here? In P11 or O11? I'm not sure about that. And then we need to add those. And most likely these, oh no, these are mountains as well. And we add them just to give, or should we add them? Shouldn't we just give them one more hex here as a supply base for the Ottomans to come in here? And then the Ottomans have these, regions like to attack the Russians down here and uh, this is just I don't know they are just we need a movement box then here to to make it possible for them to move from the Bulgarian area down to Syria if they want to, or if we want them to be able to do so. Okay, I have to think about that. We could do it that way, certainly. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is deleting those hexes we don't need any longer, like so. And the hex borders and numbers. Not the most entertaining thing to watch, I believe, but, but it's just, if anybody should be interested in watching how a total newbie in Inkscape is, is doing this, I thought, why not starting the stream and make it possible? So, <laughs> now we are nearly done with the basic shapes. Is this Europe? Yes, this is Europe. We have Scandinavia here, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, the German states, France, the Iberian Peninsula, so Spain, Portugal, British Islands, Italy, Greece, uh, Austria-Hungary, Russia, and Egypt, which I did just add in. This game here had no Egypt. It has, though, extra hexes for the Duchy of Warsaw and the Kingdom of Westphalia, which were founded later on by Napoleon. And they are here. But I want to huh, do the borders here, maybe 
make them a little lighter or something. Uh, uh, hmm. If it does not make the map too crowded, then I mean it's pretty small already. The hexes are pretty small. I mean, it's A3, but nonetheless. Whoops. Give me this hexite back. Why is Great Britain a land connection to France? Because the channel is so small compared to the hex uh, sizes that had. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's the same here with the Crimean Peninsula and with the Bosporus and with Malta, which obviously is a tiny, small, little island here. Um, and the Straits of Gibraltar and the island of Sealand over here. Um, this is just a basic sketch so that I know the terrain types and I can start to kind of on, an, on the next layer start to draw the outlines, um, the coastlines and so on. But I will probably do this in another stream. This one is already like too long for just sitting around and colorizing some hexes, I believe. And to keep also my motivation up, I think as soon as I'm finished with deleting hex sites and numbers, I will stop this stream and continue tomorrow or some other day. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, it's just I haven't added all the terrain types because there are also marshes like the Pribriot marshes like here and marshes here and some bigger lakes and so on. And the map has also rivers which I haven't added yet, but all that is part of the drawing then. All right, now, yeah. I think I will delete these hexes as well and stick to the idea of having a movement box inside of here as will be over here like the connection from Finland to Sweden all the way around the Baltic Sea and then I will have a movement box in here just to let the Ottoman forces which were not part of this game actually but I want to introduce introduce them because um, if I expand the time span from 1805 back to 1792, there is obviously also Napoleon's uh, Egypt campaign and the Ottomans um, yeah, kind of were the, the main uh, antagonist here in this Egypt campaign besides climatic uh, circumstances and um, the what is it called the pest pestilencia I don't know the English word right now um, disease so and all the time during the Napoleonic Wars the Ottomans were from time to time at war with Russia so why not having them in this game? It's no point. Because of that, I added the terrain of Greece, which is 
kind of blank here in the original game just to to have it here but hmm do we need that or should i delete those hexes would there be any interest to have these hexes i mean we could just put in these over here like the nowadays bulgarian part and then the connection to russia not sure about it i'm not sure about it hmm huh. Maybe. I think about it and decide next time. We are tuning back in. So what I want to do right now is to grab this. Oh, and there are still empty hex backgrounds here, which I want to delete. How do I select them though? There's one. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. They are invisible. So let's just grab it. Grab it, grab it and put it down here. And ah, okay, we can delete those. Could be the hexes could be bigger now right a little bit at least but if i adjust the size now do huh, how do i get to know how big the hexes are then okay fighter wings <laughs> thanks for tuning in have a nice evening good night Hmm. Let's save this one before doing other thing, other things, other things. L'Empereur. There we go. It's L'Empereur. L'Empereur. And we can delete the other one without saving right <sighs> so last thing to do for today before i will quit this stream is to find out how do i know hex sizes after resizing all of them I have no idea. Color, filling. Uh, it's sixteen. Okay, this is how high. Ah, this one is 13.858 millimeters wide from, from hex side to hex side. That way I could calculate. Hmm. That way I could calculate how big they are. I mean, I saved them. Now, what? Do I have to press in order to keep the ratios? Definitely not shift. Maybe control. Yeah, control is the one I was looking for here. 
let's do it like so and then move it just down a little bit like so and now I can select one hex and it tells me it's 14.879 from hex side to hex side and it is high like 17 181 okay so uh, I should be able to calculate on this basis but I will simply quit this and return to the save I did a few minutes ago and think about it in the meantime so I hope it wasn't too boring overall and maybe that helps someone this whole series I want to make here helps someone uh, getting an idea how to approach hex encounter war game design in Inkscape so thanks for tuning in have a nice evening a nice day whenever you watch this and take care goodbye